Hi everybody, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. I am here today with a long overdue Dollar Tree haul and I have my two receipts here. This is old stuff, okay, you guys, that I had in my laundry room and I found the bag with stuff. And I know that I took things out of here that I put in like packages that are already gone and stuff like that but i have a bunch of things still here that i'm gonna share with you in case you guys have not seen it okay and i'm sorry this has taken me so long to do and again my receipt here this one says november 28th and november 29th so yeah i'm sorry you guys but you know that i had um surgery done on december 3rd so i have been recovering that one says over there november 28th and this one says um november 29th right there so it's all stuff but the stuff that i'm gonna be using for the uh, christmas stockings so let's start with this this is something i always buy when i see a dollar tree this brand, this is a name brand, I believe. It's um, Global Beauty Care. You can find this at um, Marshalls. Marshall sells this brand. Um, so I got two. These are the nose, um, nose strips. They remove blackheads and they have charcoal, I think. Yeah, it says charcoal at the top there. And I'm going to put this in my son's, uh, my oldest son's stocking. Um, I'm probably going to put all of them, combine them in just one uh, box because, you know, where am I going to put two? Also for the stockings, I got some Sour Patch Kids. Got two of those, two Sour Patch Kids. And I got two Jolly Ranchers as well for stocking stuffers. This one is um, fruit and sour, and this one is, it doesn't say, just hard candy, but this one has the blue raspberry, green apple, cherry, grape, and watermelon flavor, and this is the same, but they are mixed uh, fruit and flour. Fruit and sour. <laughs> fruit and sour. I love uh, Jolly Rancher, but my favorite is the green one, the apple. I think it's apple. Yeah, I think it's apple. I love that one. Then I got this also for stocking stuffers. It's um, for my youngest. Is that? I don't know if you can see there. This is from Matchbox. I also found this one. It's like a pickup truck. It says 1968 Dodge. Super cute looks like that so that's for my youngest so well as this one this is gonna go in his stocking it's like a boat kind of thing it says sea spy and I found this one I love this guy he's so funny have you seen his movie mr. bean that's mr. bean's car and this is a Mini Cooper. That's what it is. Super cool. Mr. Bean. So I got that for him. And this one as well. This is an ice cream truck. Look. And I got that for him. Okay. And I found this for my oldest son. And he's not really the type that, you know, likes to play a lot of games. Well like table games, you know, like Monopoly. We used to, when he was young, we used to play Monopoly all the time. And now that he's a teenager, he's like, he's not into that much, but when he goes back to college, maybe he will. And so I got this for him. I know he likes the Star Wars um, Mandalorian, I think it is. It's on Disney Plus, he watches it. So this is for Star Wars and it's playing cards. So I got two, two of this for him. I'm gonna put this in his stockings. So I'm gonna do that for him. 
And I know a lot of you love the Star Wars, the Mandalorian, and all of that. And I thought Augustine was going to be into that as well. My youngest child, he's five, and he's not. Because the other day we went to Target. Well, not the other day, a while ago. You know, we went to Target. And um, I showed him the Baby Yoda plushie that everybody has been buying. And I'm like, do you like this? And he's like, nope. <laughs> I don't know why you guys don't like it. Well, look, I got this uh, Buffalo check a while ago, the 29th of November, probably for one of my projects for the farmhouse, and I totally forgot. So I'm going to use this in like my uh, wrapping the presents because I have some boxes that they have the red track on the front, and I uh, wrapped two presents in that. So I'm going to use that with a bow on top of it. I also found this in the toy aisle. Look, it's like a purse. And it has, looks like it has some makeup stuff inside. Look, it has a, a brush, a perfume, uh, a lipstick. And you know what? I'm going to open it just to see so we can see what's inside. And I th I'm thinking I'm going to use this for like a project. And it has a heart. Look. I'm thinking Valentine's Day. Already, you guys. Oh, this is adorable. Look. I can totally DIY this, put some uh, diamond wrap in here and turn it into something super adorable. I wish I opened this sooner. So, because maybe now they're out of this since I haven't been shopping. But if I see it again, I'm going to grab more. I totally love the perfume bottle. Look at this. How cute is this? <laughs> That's adorable. I love it. Okay, let me take this out. Now, you can use this also. Oops, did I break it? This is like a barrette. It's like a tiny flower. This, I believe this is another barrette. Um, and another one here. It's another flower. And then you have the lipstick. Look, <laughs> it's so cool. It has its own cover. How adorable. I will definitely be crafting with that for one dollar. You have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces plus the purse. It's a great buy, you guys. If you see it, grab it. It's amazing. And it closes, you know, it snaps super nicely there, see? And it's white and hot pink. They also had it in like, I think it was pink and purple or light pink and hot pink. I went with the white. But yeah, super adorable. So if you guys see it, make sure you grab it. This is what the tag looks like, okay? So play set. I get more of these um, shower shower curtain um rings for my crafting i have not been doing anything you guys i have not even been crafting lately i've been just so i don't know not in the mood for anything lately but i need to get back to it because i need to make some more of the tiny mini wreath i also found this augustine really likes this and this yeah coins so this is going to go in his uh, stocking. And this is not from Dollar Tree. I think I got this from um, CVS Pharmacy. I don't know why it's there. Probably because it's for the stocking. It's a chapstick total hydration. Three in one peach flavor. Oh, I found this as well. This is going to go in my husband's stocking. He likes hair candy a lot. Um, so this is Lifesavers Holiday Mix. So that's going to go for him. Uh, this is for Augustine. The mini Hershey chocolate. He loves chocolate. She's my, um, he's my chocoholic. So that's for him, for his stocking. And more candy, I guess. It was candy day that day. This is the Kit Kat mini more sour patch <laughs> another one so i have three sour patches look at this i have three i didn't even know that i had so many okay oh this is for augustine why is this open 
I don't know why it's open, but it doesn't matter. Look, I can show you how it looks. They are like, um, they are called gummy blocks. Gummy blocks in um, holiday edition, 4D. So they look like Lego pieces. And this is for Augustine. Okay, I got more cards. Season's greetings, more Christmas cards, and it says on the inside, may the hope of Christmas, may the hope of Christmas remain in your heart throughout the year. May the hope of Christmas remain in your heart throughout the year. Look at that. How beautiful. It's really pretty. It's shiny. You can't really see but it has some shine, see? It has like some glitter. Okay, I also found this um, puzzle and I have another one that I sent in friend mail. It's 500 pieces and it's from the Clueless movie. They also have flash dance. Um, they had a few. I only got this one and the one for uh, flash dance that I sent in friend mail. I also found this book, which is super cute. And it says crafty dolls and it tells you how to make uh, dolls and I'm going to be giving this out in a giveaway um, I wanted to do a giveaway for Christmas like a Christmas giveaway from Dollar Tree items that I have been accumulating and but since I can't go to the post office yet because I can't really lift anything heavy or do anything until the doctor says that I can um, again. So I have a lot of stuff that I want to put in like a large flat rate box and I will be doing that giveaway in the new year. Um, so make sure you subscribe and you comment in my Dollar Tree haul videos especially because I'm gonna pick a random Dollar Tree haul video to um, pick the winner okay maybe even this one maybe even this video because it's where i'm announcing it okay so just stay tuned um i also found this it says ring for coffee and it was the last one they had it didn't even have the tag here maybe someone returned it i'm not sure but it says ring for coffee and i really liked it i have one that I got from Tony, I think, in friend mail, but mine says ring for a smile, but this one says ring for coffee. So I'm going to be saving this and sending that in friend mail in the future, or maybe even put it in the um, giveaway. I don't know. I have some hard candy stuff that is gonna go in the giveaway. And in another video, I'm gonna be showing what's going to be included. But in the meantime, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? And I got this 10 pack of uh, Bear Graham cookies. It says eight grams of protein. Look at that. It doesn't say protein. It says whole grain. I'm like, what? That's really good if it was protein. But this one probably has a lot of carbohydrates also. But it has two grams of proteins, which is better than nothing, right? It's okay. Look, two grams of proteins. And I got this just because it sounded like a really good deal for the kids because it has well whole grain is good i try to buy like everything whole grain like my bread whole grain my cereal and everything like that so this sounded really good and it's a good value 10 packs i mean that's that's good okay so i've seen a lot of you guys hauling this um these things a lot of you got this and you start getting this in like October and my Dollar Tree never gets stuff like right away it always takes forever to come and this time I was actually looking for this in Tiffany blue color and I did not find any in that color but I was able to get three in pink they were the last ones they had well they had three pinks and they had one uh, like a violet color or like a light purple but I'm not or lavender maybe 
I don't know what color you call it, but it's a light, it's like a light purple, maybe lavender. So since I not really much into lavender, I got the pink, I got the three pinks and I left the lavender right there. So I have the other pink here. Hold on a sec. Sorry, that was Augustine trying to come here to see what I have, but I sent him away again because I have some stocking stuffer stuff that I don't want him to see. So I apologize for that. This is also something I got a while ago for my crafting that I completely forgot about it. It's the white poinsettia. Um, it's like super velvety. See, it's super nice and soft, but I will be using that for crafting. And I think that since this is a really nice white flower, you can probably use this throughout the year because it doesn't really look much like poinsettia to me. What do you think? I think you can use that throughout the year. Totally. Look at this. How beautiful. I got this for myself. There are some earmuff. Yeah. Earmuff. And they look like a kitty. And look. How adorable is that? Yay! How pretty! Okay, so that's for me for when I'm able to go out again. Look, I got some gift tissue. 24 pieces for a dollar. It's a really, really good deal, you guys. I always buy that at Dollar Tree. And I got that in the pastel colors. I also got it in uh, red and green, but I've been already using this, so, or I already used it a while ago, and I'm glad that I found it. And I have gotten this for myself for my birthday, and I totally forgot that I had it, and I didn't use it. Look how beautiful. It says, happy birthday, and it has an ice cream. That's why I bought it, because of the ice cream cone. It says happy birthday. It has tacos and burgers and pizza. My favorite junk food from this napkin here, it's ice cream and pizza. What is my favorite pizza flavor? You guys, guess. Can you guess? It's pepperoni pizza. Yay. Many years ago, when I was pregnant with my oldest son, I was living in Puerto Rico for six months. Yeah, for about six months, I was living in Puerto Rico and I was living at hotels because I was with my ex-husband at that time and he was working for GE. He still works for GE. So um, we had to stay in hotels. So we stayed in like um, at the Ponce, um, Hilton Hotel for like three months and then we stayed in the San Juan um, Ritz Carlton for another three months they were super nice hotels um, so I was pregnant at that time and I was craving pizza all the time and every night for dinner uh, my husband at that time used to go to back to the hotel after work and he would pick me up and we could go to Pizza Hut to eat pizza every night for like months I ate pizza for dinner <laughs> and now my oldest uh, son he loves pepperoni pizza probably because I ate it for like three months in a row when I was living in Puerto Rico and look how beautiful those are like these are like goodie bags, treat bags. And there are 10 in here, but look how beautiful. And look, this one also has fries in the back. How cool is that? Those are amazing for like friend mail. And you guys know that I love bayis. Any kind of bayis, I'm just, I'm cuckoo for them. And this one, I forgot to tell you, this one has how many napkins? 16. 16 two plain napkins. But it's so beautiful. I love that. I love the ice cream cone. Okay. Anyway, my nose is itchy. I found this. And I every year I buy these tiny houses. Okay. When I was working at the clinic. Because I used to work at a clinic. Okay. With the doctor. And I had these houses. I left them there because, you know. 
I, um, I haven't been working for like two years, but when I was working, I have these houses for like every holidays. You know how Dollar Tree comes with houses also for like Halloween, like haunted houses and stuff like that? Or they used to, I didn't see any this year. I only saw like coffins and stuff like that. But they used to have like haunted houses. And I used to fill them up with like uh, things for the kids, you know, for my patients that were little. And I would put like uh, lollipops or little things, prizes for the kids for to give them after like their shots and stuff like that. But how beautiful is this one? This is like, a, um, it says sweet shop. And let me show you. So here you can see there is a cake and some balloons and some candy. And look at this here, it has macarons. How cool is that, see? Oh look, there is a gingerbread man right there. It's super adorable, so. And that's the front, it says sweet shop. So, and then on the top it has, see the glitter? Oh, it's so beautiful. So I think maybe I'm gonna put candy in there. I'm just gonna save it for like friend mail or whatever, you know. And then I got this box. Look, it has a shaker at the top and it says Merry Christmas. And it has the beautiful sequins and it has snowflakes on the side. And it's super pretty and it's deep. And I got two of these, but I sent one away with candy also in like friend mail. So. I got this frame, I, I think I got this in the past, but I saw it again and it called my attention, so I got this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably gonna end up altering it. But yeah, got this for like packages. I love the uh, nutcracker. I love nutcrackers. And that's why I bought this, just because of this. I'm gonna use that. I also love the Santa and this, but this is my favorite. So I'm probably gonna keep the nutcracker and use the other ones for packaging. Because I'm obsessed with nutcrackers. And I also found this for like, uh, to put candy for like my kids or whatever. It says North Pole Tree Farm. How beautiful is that? I thought it was amazing. And look, it has the red truck and the green truck. Or is it a truck or is it like a station wagon car? How cool, huh? And that goes around. And they had this in other sizes as well, but I went with the biggest size because, you know, I like more for my money. Oh, here's the other one. See, so there are three. One, two, three. And I don't know what I'm going to be doing with them. I don't know if I'm going to put like my maybe my nail polish on them or something like that or if i'm gonna use them for like embellishment boxes and some of them in friend mail or whatever I'm not sure what i'm gonna be doing with them but i was happy to have found those three in pink because unfortunately the tiffany blue color i couldn't find i got another one of the poinsettias in silver and these are perfect to embellish like packages or whatever they're so pretty in silver. Um, found another one of the uh, roller cutter. I know I had this. I bought this already, but I don't know if I sent it in front mail or if I have it here in some place. I have not been able to find it. Got some of the pink paper. I got this to use in the future in a project. It says trust your journey. I will definitely be altering this in a project. I will not be keeping it like this. It's probably going to end up being a shadow box or something like that. And I got another one of these boxes um, to put stuff in. I really like it. I have purchased another one of this and I already used it. And I was able to find another one and I really, really like it. And it's the same color, same design. I love it. So that's all for my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I hope you saw something that you... Um, like and that you want to find at your store let me know if you're interested in that giveaway that i'm going to be doing uh, at the beginning of the next year and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and so they can subscribe as well and enter in that giveaway because it's going to be a big flat rate box 
full of stuff from Dollar Tree and maybe some other things that are not Dollar Tree, but most of the stuff. And I will be showing you all the stuff that I'm going to be giving away in an upcoming video when I'm done with all the stuff that I I'm probably going to put one of these puzzles also in that giveaway. Okay, you guys, so stuff that you like, let me know what you're looking for that you cannot find. So I, um, you know, have stuff in mind to put in the giveaways. I know that you all like the, like the heart candy or the flower makeup. So that's going to be definitely included and probably going to put this book also in there. Some people like books. So let me know what you want to be seeing in that giveaway price. Okay. So um, if you like like crafting stuff or what, so I can make sure to put a bunch of things that you like in there, okay? So I love you guys. Don't forget to uh, share the video again and leave me a comment, okay? And have a happy holidays, happy holiday week and Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate Christmas like me. So Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa and all of that. And I love you. Bye now. Bye.